Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And today we're going to talk about some of the essence of the contracts and what should be in your contract. So before you place an ATM, you're going to need a contract. This is going to keep you in the location as long as possible and eliminate some of the risks that you're going to take with your ATM. I had a, I had a location. We, we, were, we developed a good relationship. They didn't have an ATM. We went into the store. We, uh, the store owner was very excited about having an ATM in the store, was trying for a while to get an ATM in there, and was unsuccessful. And so we started developing a relationship, and then we placed the, uh, the, uh, we placed the ATM in the location. We got an agreement signed. The location owner had no problem with the agreement, and we had a great relationship through over many years. And then all of a sudden what happened is the owner called us up and says, hey, can you take our ATM out? And so I, I immediately went down there and I said, is there an issue? And the owner said, no, I see, we don't have any issue with your company. You guys have been great. When we call, you guys come out with service. The machine doesn't break down. And if it does, you guys automatically fix it really fast. Um, I said, well, is there a problem with your with your um, commission and they said no we get the commissions we get the reports everything's great but we're going in a different direction and I said well what's the different direction well I'm getting a new guy and I said well why are you getting a new guy you just told me that we do everything that you said that you desired an ATM company he said yeah yeah you guys are good but what we're gonna what I had a new guy in there and they said they're gonna give me a thousand dollars for the location and then they're gonna split the surcharge right now we only make a dollar and what you're gonna what the new guy is gonna do is he's gonna give me half the money and I said okay so um, is there any change in your mind no I can I'm going with the new company and I said, oh, okay I said well can you tell me the name of the new company and they gave me the new company's name and their phone number and it wasn't a company that that I ever recognized um, probably a new company in the area and they were just trying to make a name for themselves and trying to get this location and so I said okay that would be great and what I did is I called the new company the guy said I don't care you know you just get your ATM out I'm putting mine in and that's that and I said well okay I said can I have your address because what I like to do is I like to send you a copy of the agreement so you can look at it just to make sure for your record and he said okay which was good they gave me the address so I sent it priority mail or um, with a tracking number, and so they had to sign to get it. So sent it over to the guy. The guy got it and signed it. I called in a few days when I knew they had it, and I said, "Hey, you have? Uh, did you get my copy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When are you get your ATM out, I'm putting mine in." I said, "Okay." I said, "I just want to let you know that if um, now that you have a copy of the agreement, did you read it?" And the guy says, "No, no, I didn't read it." I said, "Well, if you would have read it, you would have saw in our." agreement that we have um, the rest of the contract that you have to pay me for. I'm not, he said, I'm not paying you for this. I said, well, you acknowledge that you have a copy of our contract. You acknowledge that you uh, received it. And now what I'm letting you know is that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to seek legal action on you and your company for going after one of our locations that is under contract. And what we're going we're gonna to do is we're going to involve you, the store owner, and um, and myself in a legal, some legal action, and we're going to go after the lifetime what's left on the contract. So he wasn't aware of this. He he thought this was baloney. But then we sent him a, a a nice little hello from our lawyer in the amount of damages that were left on the contract. It was a little over ten grand. And then so then, wait, wait, can we work something out? I said absolutely. I'm so glad you called. I got about ten thousand dollars left on this contract. And what you can do if you would like to get that location, you can just write me a check for ten grand. We'll gladly remove our ATM right after we cash that check. And you can go on your merry way. I wish you all the success in the ATM business as humanly possible. And, um, and best of luck. And he said, whoa, whoa, I was thinking maybe I'd give you $500. I said, well, the contract states that we got about four years left on a location agreement. And so I'm going to get 100% of that before we move our equipment. So after a letter from the lawyer, after the location agreement, the guy decided, you know what, I think it's the best interest that we don't go into that location. And so they, then when we went in to fill it, the location owner says, um, 
I, I just tried to make a move because he was going to give me $1,000, I could use the money. And I said, no, I, I get that. So what you want to do is you want to patch up the relationship. I said, I get that, that you're gonna, you were just trying to help your business out, and I, and I understand. But we had a good relationship. He says, oh, yeah, we did. I said, we're just going to continue going down that same path. And we stayed in location. So one of the first things you want to do is when you have your agreement, you want to make sure you have a disconnection or a, ter a termination fee. Usually what we try to do is we try to set somewhere between $100 and $200 if they decide to uh, disconnect your ATM. And then the second thing we do is we put on, um, on the mer we make the merchant responsible for the lifetime of the remaining contract. So let's say you have, you're, you have 100, let's make it easy for math, you have 100 transactions a month. Your end, let's say, is a $3 surcharge. You give the location 50 cents, and you have um, $2.50. So $2.50 times 100 is $250 times the remainder of the contract. Whatever that is, let's say you have 30 months, so you got $2,500 uh, per, actually you got um, 3,000 per year for 30 for um, 30 months, so that comes at nine grand. You have nine thousand dollars left on an agreement that the new ATM owner and or the, the location have to reimburse you. And then the next thing we do is uh, when the owner decides to call you and say get your ATM out, what you want to do is you want to go down there. You want to uh, try to work out any kind of differences. Maybe there was something with service. Maybe there's something with commission. Maybe it was something else. You want to find out what it is when you go down there. And you want to find out who's getting in between you and the, and the store owner. Most of the time, you're in there for months and months, if not years and years. And what you want to do is you want to, you built a relationship, you've got the location, you build that rapport with, the, with that owner, and then somebody's coming in between that. So you want to figure out who it is and how, how they're getting in between you and your merchant and see if you can resolve those issues. That's always the best first step. Then if that doesn't work, then you wanna bring up the fact, hey, we had an agreement when we came in here. Sometimes the owners forget that they had an agreement, that they signed something. They, they oftentimes forget that. And they say, oh yeah, I signed that, when was it? Two years ago, yeah, but we had a five-year agreement. So we're still gonna honor that agreement. Just like I honor coming in here every week or every couple weeks and filling your ATM and servicing when it breaks down. You also want to get the new guy who's coming in between you and your store owner. Who is it? Where are they located? You want to get all that information so then you can take that information and then you can send that new ATM owner your contract, your agreement with that store owner to let them know, don't get in the middle of my relationship with this store owner. Okay? And then once you can confirm that that store or that new ATM owner has your agreement now you can hit them and say oh did you did you receive my agreement and they say oh yes I have your agreement and you have a confirmation because you set it like certified mail or where they have to sign it or cert however you do it with FedEx or UPS and now you can you can go after them with take legal action with them that said and it, it's called tortoise interference and what that is is in, in that's US law that says hey I have an agreement with the store owner now this new company is coming in and they're trying to get in between that and we have a contract and it's like a contract violation. Sometimes the new ATM operator will say, I didn't sign anything with you, you can't go after me. Well, yes, we can because we're letting you know that we have an agreement, a contract in place, and you're trying to undermine that agreement. Okay? And then um, if that, after that, if that process doesn't work, um, then what you're going to do is you're going to really get get in the nuts and bolts of this thing and you're gonna go after and you're gonna file a lawsuit with the store owner and the new ATM operator and kind of co-mingle them together and say this is what we stand to lose if you guys just proceed to go on this path of removing our ATM and then you can always the last thing you can do is you can always offer a settlement and say to the new new, new person who's coming in hey our agreement has this much, it's worth X, and if you want, you can buy me out of this agreement, you can place your ATM in the store, we'll just walk away, best of luck to you. Most of the time, 
the people won't, they will, they will not uh, choose to exercise that option, but sometimes they will. Maybe it's, maybe this guy's got multiple stores, and this is the way to get into the so, some of those stores. I don't know, but I, I have seen it. It hasn't happened to us, but I have seen it where they said, just I'll buy you out of that agreement, and then they're done. So one of the last things people will say is, well, why would you ever want to stay in a location that they don't want you in? And the reason for that is, is I worked real hard, our company has worked hard to find a location, build that relationship with the store owner over multiple months or if not years, and now we got somebody in there promising the moon, the sun, and the, and the stars, or the Green New Deal, if you want to call it, and they're going to do all this for the store owner. And usually what happens, I would say in all my experiences, it's all baloney. They don't do what they say they're going to do, and then the store owner is left um, with a bad ATM operator. And then what happens is they will, they will call us and say, oh, hey, you know what, this guy isn't what he said he was, and then we got to go back. And that costs money and time. So I found out in all my 20 years of experience that, you know what, I just like to fight a little harder in the front end of the deal. I don't have to worry about putting my ATM, pulling the ATM out uh, and, and taking legal action and going through a lawsuit. I just, what I do is I just fight a little harder on the front end. And we stay there because I know sometimes that that store owner might be the reason they want to take that deal is because they're under financial hardship and they're, they're looking to get out of the store. I can stay there a little longer, they sell the store, I get a new guy, and we're rocking and rolling just like we were before. Hope some of these tips are helpful. Again, we have, uh, we have an ATM Mastermind group page that we'd like you guys to join. Um, we also get, uh, we're getting a lot of questions about coming up with a program, so we're gonna come up with an ATM program that better answers some of this, these questions for you guys and help you develop your ATM skills to go out and become an ATM operator on your own. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always subscribe to our ATM Mastermind group page. Thank you very much.